Hello everyone, my name is Farah and today's topic is about radiation protection and safety and I will be explaining it to you in a simple way but first let us learn the fundamental principles of radiation and its sources. Radiation is the general process of emitting radiant energy in the form of waves and particles through space and medium. When it comes to the sources of radiation, we have many types. One of these types is ionizing radiation which includes natural and man-made sources. In terms of natural resources, we have food, sunlight, and many more. However, our main focus today is on the man-made radiation sources, which includes different imaging modalities such as X-rays. So now let me introduce you to ways we can ensure protection and take safety measures when it comes to radiation procedures. Follow me, please. Firstly, let us talk about radiation shielding materials. In an X-ray room, the walls and ceilings are made up of heavy materials such as concrete or lead which are very dense and are able to absorb radiation. Also, the windows in the room may be fitted with lead glass. These materials are very thick and are able to absorb enough radiation emitted to ensure the protection of those in the surrounding areas. However, what about the people who work directly with radiation sources? This is where personal protective equipment comes into play. One of the most critical equipments for healthcare professionals or patients is the lead apron. Lead aprons are typically worn during fluoroscopy or x-ray procedures. They are specially designed for the protection of body tissues by absorbing radiation due to their thickness. But it's important to know that safety does not stop only with the use of lead aprons. Another critical element in radiography procedures is proper patient positioning. Please follow me into the X-ray room for demonstration. Good day, my name is Farah. I will be your radiographer for today and I will guide you through the chest X-ray procedure. I will provide you with a lead apron first to protect your other body parts from unnecessary radiation. Put your hands on your hips, stand as still as possible and take a deep breath and hold it briefly. If you feel uncomfortable, please let me know. Now I will be taking your X-ray. As you saw in this demonstration, my job as a radiographer is to guide the patient through the radiation procedure and put them in the most suitable position for taking the X-ray. Because if the patient is not properly positioned and an X-ray was taken, then it's likely that the image will not be clear. As a result, I would have to retake the image and expose the patient to more radiation which is dangerous for the patient's body. Now, before we end this video, let me give you some additional tips that are also important in radiography. Firstly, radiologist technologists should be familiar with the principle ALARA, which means keeping radiation exposure as low as reasonably achievable. Following this principle will help reduce the potential health risks associated with radiation exposure. Secondly, collimation. Collimators are found inside the X-ray machine to allow the radiographer to control the shape and size of the X-ray beam. Precisely, collimating the X-ray beam limits unnecessary exposure to surrounding tissues and organs. Finally, radiation protection and safety are more crucial in our modern world than ever, since the use of ionizing radiation has become more prevalent in certain fields such as medicine, industry, and research. The risks associated with the use of radiation enforce us to take a vigilant approach to ensure protection of our health and the environment. Keep in mind that radiation protection is not just limited to healthcare professionals, but rather it is a collective responsibility. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something today. Thank you for watching and please stay safe.